welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hand painted technique on a cake and in honour of the royal couple we're going to be doing an elderflower design and for this we're going to need some cocoa butter and food colouring dust. I've printed an elderflower picture from the internet so I can outline the shape. I've used a lead free pencil, I've traced it onto some grease proof paper so now it's ready for me to turn over and mark out onto my cake. Make sure that when you're doing this technique, you ice your cake the day before so that it has time to slightly set and harden off. And that's gonna mean you're gonna get a much neater finish. So I'm just coming to the end of my template now. So once that main design is on there, you can see I've got a lovely kind of very faint outline of your shape, which is gonna enable me to fill that in. So now I'm just going to continue around just adding some different sizes in different directions just to kind of cover the front of the cake. Okay, so now we're ready to start painting. I've got a bowl of hot water just been boiled with my paint palette on top. Some cocoa butter here, it's liquid because I've melted it and that's why I've got the hot water to keep it nice and liquid. So I'm going to take my dust colours and just pop them around the plate and just start building up the painting. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cocoa butter. So what I'm going to do is just use my brush just to kind of pull in the dust into the cocoa butter. The elderflowers are really nice because all you need to do is do kind of a stippling effect really. It's kind of lots of tiny, tiny dots. So I'm going to start with some white just over the main shape area. And then the beauty of cocoa butter is it's like oil painting, you can just build up the layers. So by the time I've finished painting all over this branch, I can go back up to the top and just start adding a bit more detail with different shades. I'm quite happy with the layering up, so I'm just gonna add my final details here just on the elderflowers, just by adding my yellow and possibly a little bit of brown, so just to bring out the sort of centers. So once you've finished your design, it's a really nice idea just to take some ribbon, of course you can pipe, but I like a little bit of ribbon just around there, just to hide any of the joins. So there you have it, fit for a royal couple. For more videos, check out bakingmad.com.